Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. We're going to carry on from the end of the last episode and go off to the end. So anyway, let's go now to the end and have a look at that. In fact, before I do anything in here, I'm going to take this, this armor off. And we're going to put onto the armor something else. Let's just... I need this one, don't I? I want to put in probably the long lasting ones, the one we need actually. And maybe the boat. Let's take the oak galley with us. Let's put on the armor. Didn't go into exactly smooth spaces, but it'll do fine. Take the galley. Actually, I've got two. Uh, the reason I've got two is just in case. Because they can sink. <laughs> And that's really frustrating. Let's put the mini map back on again. Mini map in the, in the end is completely useless. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't do anything. It's not mapping out the area, which is a real shame because you could do with this. Now I have actually built a, a little port. In fact, the port is over here. Have oh, we'll a quick look at that. It's basically just a flat area with some steps coming up, so it's not exactly special. Oops, I'm not going the wrong direction. Tell you what, I should be there when I found it. Right, as you can see, I marked it out. Some lo lots of lots of lanterns and come down here. Uh, I put some lava down there just for sake, just for fun to see what happens. It does work, so we can swim. This is water, <laughs> and it's no water. If you if you haven't got your your diving clothes on, you take damage, and it flings you into the air, and you're gonna land on somewhere difficult. Oh, so go out of the way here. So now I'm going to go and have a look at the map. I have actually marked some areas down here. So that's the that's the that's where we are now. The dock. Oh, just about let's zoom this out a bit here. So here I found. Oh, it's slow. I don't know why it's slow, because it's not showing anything. That's an area for crystal shards. This was one of those little gateways, portal gateways. That's an island. That's where I died. What else have we got around here? I think it was south. So this is Amberland, and this is where we find Hydroluxes. So let's go and find those, because they're actually really hard. What colour were those? Orange. I think it's south. So it's that way. Okay. I'm going to row, and as soon as I get row, we're going to press in the right way a little bit more. That's fine. I'm just press R, put the sail down, and sail off. Right, I shall see you when I'm nearer there, because it takes a long time to get there, so I'll see you in a minute. So before I go any further, you can see here, it's actually taking a very long time to draw the, the area in. So you actually, one of the problems is you'll notice water behaves strangely. You'll find, I don't see any here, let's be, we'll have a look. It's a good idea to either row or to go on to low speed. So low, low speed here is, in this particular case, we can, I'm just being cautious. Because <laughs> what you'll find is areas where there's no water, there's a big drop. If your boat, if your boat goes down there, it just ends up in the void, so you, you, you messed up. But as you can see, it's taking a long time to draw this stuff in. That's actually, for me, I find a bit, a bit problematic. So we can press J and that'll lower down the sail. Two levels is actually quite good when you come across the islands because they are difficult to navigate. And I'm just pressing the D key to go across here. So once we've come out of these, but we actually don't come out of these, they'll take a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of sailing across, but it's one option. It's definitely a good option to do, especially if you haven't got anything special in terms of jetpacks we've got the highest tier jetpack that i know about and it does use up quite a lot of power but it's very fast so let's just press k and slow get out of the boat so now we can swim around i'm just going to break the boat you need to you need to pick axe what did i do with my max here oh that's interesting you have to find the right place to hit it if you, it's somewhere in, in the middle. If you get the right place, it just breaks like that. 
If you don't get the right place, it doesn't. Let's turn the jetpack on, control J, I've programmed it to it, and then we just fly across here. So now I'm just going to go back over this direction. And then you'll see things don't paint in anywhere near, or render in as, anywhere near as quickly as they should do. We've got about 4,000 blocks to go. If I have a quick look at the, the map again, it's a long way, so scroll out. It is mapping in the odd section in here. So we want to get here, so it's 3,000 blocks away, 2,000 blocks of the Amber Island, okay. So I'll see you when we get there. There's actually, there is quite a lot of interesting stuff down here. Um, but in terms of usefulness, there's, there's much less of it. You may find the odd portal, which we can then use to get back home, but we have to rebuild those portals. Right, oops. See, this is one of the features. I suppose, I suppose that's the right word. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'll see you in a second. So this is what Amberland looks like. It's these are all uh, better end mods, as it were. And you come along here, and you find you'll find the ores, but they're actually sort of easier to find underwater. <laughs> Strangely enough, let's see if we can find some. So, for example, here's some prosperity ore. Let's take this pickaxe, which I've re repaired a little bit, and you'll see it's got silky on it. So that's quite handy. Let's just take this because you let use up less inventory space. And then when I've got looting, press C, you'll pick it all up. You can pick this stuff up, and you also get the dimensional shards the same. There are there are mobs around here. Oh yes, here we go. So this is what amber looks like. That, and you also want this one as well. Unfortunately, there's a function to break that one, and then break the amber. It might be more than one block, and not in this case. And then these are actually quite handy to have. These save ender pearls and wear on tools. Actually, it's wear on tools bits that bits that actually interesting. And there we got some more philesium ore. I think it's pronounced. And here you see these problematic areas. Um, so you can see the water's not going in. If your boat ends up in here, it drops down here and then it falls in. <laughs> I must have looked at an enderman. Ha ha. <laughs> so we can take that. That's. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get me underneath here. It's fine. <laughs> like this. And this is dimensional shards. These are things you get here. He's very determined to try and get me, isn't he? So instead of getting, if I break these up, so you can see, look, there's a lot, there's quite a lot of different ores on the surface, which is probably worth picking up as you go along. All right. We've actually got some more amber over here, look at that. This time it's, a, it's at least two, so. See, use the, use the, the, um, the tool, and we'll get this one as well, we'll see more of it, have we? Let's just do this. Right, I, I don't need to do this on camera. Let's press, and I will do. Let's see again, make sure we picked up that other other ore. We don't want to go below zero, so we're quite low down now. And I'm using up fuel as well. We've just got, we've got plenty of fuel. Let's go back up here. Oh, oh, some more. This is really a good one to get, and by the way, you shouldn't really skip these. <laughs> As for later on, you'll use this a lot. <clears throat> oh, that's just inferior methods. So off we go back. In fact, we're not very far away from the. This is this is crystal, by the way. Um, I have to get a bit closer to it, or or crystal. Which we've already got a seed for that. Well, maybe I haven't yet got it, but we will do soon. So the next island of interest is coming up here. And it's sulfuric springs, and they look like this. These are actually where you find these Hydrolux things. I have to be honest with you, it took a lot of effort to find these. Um, you can either go down the top with a jetpack, and that should work. It did when the last time I did it. Or you can go underneath. And the way I've been doing is going underneath. Now, this is actually bad stuff. <laughs> this black area here is... This, this tree will produce um, shadow... I can't remember what they're called. Shadow walkers. It's a shadow forest, a tiny shadow forest in the middle of this. But this is Hydrolux flowers here. Now, normally, you don't find these here like this. And they're actually at, all at the same level of minus zero, 
Okay. That's a bit weird. I was expecting to. Okay. But there should be planters on something. So you break these, press C, pick it up the bits. And you get the petals and you get the seedlings as well. Let's see. I'm having to press C because that's the key I programmed into this. Let's have a look. So I got four seedlings and seven petals, which is actually good. We can go around breaking this, or we probably can even grow our own. So let's go and have a look in here. Let's turn off the jetpack because it's going to just make some noise. And here you'll see there's actually a lot of ore you can mine up without thinking about it. It's so easy to see. And then underneath here we've got sulfuric rocker thing. It says water. Um, which is a bit inconvenient to break one. And this is what you should... Yeah, you should be able to use this for all sorts of things. But while I'm here, I just harvest up these bits. I'm going the wrong button then. As you can see, there's a lot of it. And this is where the petals should be found. But maybe not in this particular case. I'll not do that one, right? If it doesn't come to you, just press C. And then you get all of these different ores in here. There is... This doesn't look right, actually. <laughs> but Draconic Ore is always good to pick up. So let's pick up some of this, because it's... It's a definite time saver. This is another one that is good to use silk touch on. And I didn't did I get those. Right. And uh No, I didn't know where they gone to. Strange. Let's see, it went down below. I didn't see that. I thought this floated up. I don't mind. Uh, so we, I'll spend a bit of time just doing these and we'll have a look around here. But oxygen is also something we need to watch out for. So there's two ways to sort out oxygen. One is to put the uh, sea moth down like this. Should be just, and then get in it. And as soon as we get in it, our oxygen replenishes. Um, it probably looks like I need to eat a bit too. Um, or you can just get out of it. Let's just get out of this now, because I've got the oxygen replenished. So the sea moth has done that for me. Break. Just one hit should break this, actually, and it goes straight into your heart. Well, that's right. So let's just explore, explore around here a little bit more. These are caves. And they sh they're all linked together. In fact, I don't think I've been here before. So let's go back and have a look. There's a marker over here, so I must have found some caves. We can, should be able to just walk along here. And of course, doing this will also replace your your oxygen supply. It looks like I've reached end. Oh, this is brimstone. That's good. I just broke something. Actually, what I broke was some sulfur. Brimstone. Uh, I got some sulfur here. And this is brimstone again. So this is another one of these. If you get into these smoky bits, so to speak, you get pushed to the top. And when you get pushed to the top, you need to watch out because above these are um, uh, jellyfish, which actually do hurt a lot. So you, and we haven't got that much in terms of armor protection on this. I haven't tried to enchant this to be done out of here. But I did come along here before, as you can see. So this is the type of rock that you get in here. They're actually... I'm pretty sure... What's that thing down there? I don't think they hurt the sulphurs. You can break these, but I'm not going to because it doesn't actually do anything for you to break them. But you can see there's a lot of minerals and stuff that you can actually worthwhile picking up. No, oh, the deconian ore went to. Did I actually pick it up in the end of the day? Endstone? No, I didn't. Coolia. But it's good for prosperity or as well, so that saves you a bit of time. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> the wrong tool. So now my inventory is full, so I'll just have to empty it out a bit. And stone, prosperity, or where's the prosperity shards gone to? Oh, 20 of them. Okay. Let's put these up here. So 
So, right, I shall be back in a while when we get back home. So here are the actually jellyfish. I'm not sure I've got my jetpack on. No. And they attack, and they're nasty actually, so we'll keep out of their way. In fact, I'll get my better weapon in hand. But these are also fish here. They, they like, those don't attack you. But the jellies do, so watch out for the jellies. Let's just have a quick demonstration of that. Does it say it's a, does it say it's a jellyfish? These are end fish here. And you can harvest these as well if you can get if you can get if you can, if you can, if you can hit one like that. And these drop things. What did that drop? I don't know what they dropped. That's all. So we picked up some oh gelatine and we've got some end fish. So maybe they're useful to have. I'm not hundred percent sure. My fuel energy is going down again. Need to watch that. Well, my air. I mean, let's put the boat. Let's get into the sea moth. I think we're a bit safer with the sea moth as it happens. This one's got a diamond an axe. <laughs> I wonder if we can get it. Yes, yeah, so you see, they hurt. If you get near to these things, they hurt. So I better be careful. <laughs> Let's just press shift and do it manually. Not too difficult to kill, of course, but yeah. And there's some more hydrolux here. We'll break some of those. Press C. Where's the where's the where's the sea moth gone to? There it is. Right. I'm finished here now. I'm going back home. I'll see you when I get there. So now my inventory is nice and empty. Now one of the reasons we need these hydrolux petals, the recipe for the uses of those white dye, we wouldn't want to do that. But we would want to do it in better end infusion, which is basically these crystal shards, which we've captured before. Around one hydrolyx petal will produce this enhanced petal. And the uses of the enhanced petal is then we can start to get, uh, we can determine what enchantments we want. So there's obviously 36 enchantments which we can do. Mending's a good one to do, but maybe things like um, loot, Looting, I think you can only get one level of looting. So you get Luck of the Sea, for instance. You only get one level of Luck of the Sea. Riptide, you don't get any of the higher level books. Frostwater, Blast Production. As you can see, Punch One, you all of these channeling. That's obviously one that doesn't have multiple levels. Fortune One. So, for example, that's from a pickaxe. So I would want to do this. I would like to have three levels of Fortune, because I think that's the maximum. So look. Um, if we do uses of the book, can it does it show us anvil? Yes, it does. It should also show us a recipe for two books, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure what the highest level of fortune is, but it's easy to find it this way, isn't it? So you have different ways of doing this. Fortune upgrades for refined storage. Um, and books, we have three. We have three books. I don't think you can put these on standard tools, but obviously with refined storage, and also you can do it with a RF builder. But builders, we probably wouldn't need in this case. We've got the fortune upgrade, which I've done or we've covered already. Uh, energy cell power, which is creative. Okay. So there we are. So that we can do from there. So that's that's what the, this is about. So the next thing to do would be to build those infusion altars from better end, wouldn't it? So let's have a look at that. This one, the ped this infusion pedestal. So we need one of those, which is two obsidian, uh, which isn't too expensive, eyes of ender, and uh, two ender pearls. It's not too difficult. We probably can do this one. Oh, we're missing ender pearls. We've got stacks of ender pearls. I want to do this because then I don't need to. I can do things between episodes, so to speak. And this more born is working really well. <laughs> Actually, I want to just make sure I've got rid of something. I've had some extra stuff. Let's take thirty-two ender pearls. I don't think we need thirty-two ender pearls. 
Oops, there was a sheep just going through the sport through the log grinder. So let's see if we can make this up now. I, I think it's a stru I'm pretty sure this is a structure. Very similar to the, to um this layout for mystical agriculture. But it's looking like I've got no space. Tell you what, we'll do this upstairs. But I'm pretty sure we also need more than one um, pedestal. Let's just put it up here somewhere. But you do need other pedestals. Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah. You just need one infusion. Pedestal. Some people's got a funny hat. Ha, ha. Then we need to make some of the other rock pedestals so we could choose which one we use it doesn't matter which one we use so for instance so i've got sulfuric rock here the other one i've got is brimstone we've got slightly more brimstone than sulfuric and i'm pretty sure we'll just do it with slabs so i'm um, not exactly oh, no it doesn't work with this one okay brimstone is no good brimstone has other uses so we need the sulfuric rock sulfuric rock does work i'm pretty certain of that yeah, we make some slabs. Let's make a stack of slabs, that'll do. We can always make some more if we don't need to. And then we need to split this into four. If that's 15 each, try that again. Take half of these slabs and put them in like this, and that'll make these sulfuric pillars. In fact, we don't need 15. Actually, it's not bad. We can use this for other purposes, but let's just say we want half of those. I need eight pillars, to be honest with you. So let's make eight pillars like that. And then all you do is you put that in the middle. Try again. Of these. And then we just need two more. Oh, it's making two, so I only need half of those. We need eight. So it's the same layout. So let's go and set this layout up. We need um, some crystal shards as well. I've got those somewhere. I don't think they're in here. I'll tell you what, I'll find them. I'll be back upstairs with the bits and pieces that we need. Right. Got the, I hope I've got this right. So we need to put this two blocks away, don't we? So it's like one, two, three. I think is where we place this stuff. Uh, it'll tell us if I got it wrong anyway. I think it should tell us. So we need the one in the middle of us here. So that's one, two, here. I think that goes there. So one, two, three. Let's just do it like this. One, two, three. And then this one should be in the middle of those two, like that, like that, and like that. So now we can do this in alter infusion. All we have to do, if I remember rightly, we wanted to make the um, use this hydro, hydraulic petal in the middle and then we need four crystals in fact i should we should break these with fortune the ones i didn't show you but the, the crystals that you can dig up you get a lot more and i think that's right just right click this now yes just right click it and then it starts to process so that means i've got the position in the right things in the right place so with this one now use of the enhanced petal we can then start to make these recipes as you can see so I shall prepare stuff for next time. I'm pretty sure you can also plant this, the petal, uh, the saplings. But I had a bit of difficulty doing that when I was testing it out. Uh, I'm pretty certain we can plant these on um, volcanic, this, this, anything that was where it should have been, sulfuric rock. Let's take a couple of pieces of sulfuric rock. And I'm not sure what height we've got more sulfuric rock too. Let's just put that in like this. Let's just click those in. I think we've got enough pedals. We can actually use the pedals for, pedestals for putting anything on. You don't have to just use them for um, this particular stuff. So, for example, I've got a sapling down here. Let's take four sulfuric. No, let's take more. Let's take five. The only thing I do remember when I was doing my previous series is that we have to be... Uh, oh, I've got 45. I've got my... I still got my dude on, which makes things a bit slow. 
I tried to put it on brimstone, but I don't think you can put it on brimstone. I think you've got to put it on this rock here. You'll see if I try to break this up now, I've got slowness of press E because I haven't got my yeah, mining upgrade for the, and slowness for eight. Oh, you can get out there. It does wear off fairly quickly once you've done that. So if I, well, I can probably break this up here now. If I hold on, the, let's go underneath here. Yeah. Let's just try this and then put on here one of the petals. I'm not sure if it needs, and it doesn't work. I'm going to break some more petals. I'm out of the water, it's a bit easier to break this up. In fact, I'm pretty sure we just have to, maybe it needs a three by three area. Let's just break this up here. Oh no, not with slowness through. <laughs> not with so much slowness, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> As you can see, it doesn't work at all. I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a second when I've done it. It doesn't seem to plant. It might be that I'm at the wrong height. So I'm going to between episodes see if I can figure out what I need to do to get this to work. But you should be able to grow them because I did in my last series, Fabric 3, I put them at level 58 and I'm pretty sure that that would work. So anyway, maybe I'll have to go back to that series and see if it works. So just before we go today, let's just click to our quest rewards. What I'm going to do this time is I'm not going to go through every single quest reward. I'm just going to go and get all of them. I mean, it'll be too many for my inventory, but it doesn't matter very much. <laughs> oh, so let's just put them in here. Uh, let's just put them in here, at the back here. This was completely empty before. So we see, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of uh, rewards. Some of them interesting. What's this one? Britannia Armour, Santa Weaver. <laughs> that's a new one. I've not seen that before. Uh, we've got two mob mashes. That's quite good. We've got... Uh, improved processes from uh, refined storage we've got 16 flux cores we've got some elementary elementium leggings which is pixel spawn chance pixie spawn chance <laughs> what have we got here electrum seeds actually those are quite good what have we got here tinker's bronze that's quite good titanium seeds that's probably quite good too uranium seeds actually they're not bad seeds for a change uh, what else have we got here appetite seeds uh, that's uh, actually so quite good. I don't think we've got any appetite. 64 lapis clusters. That's quite good. I've got another a big crate. That's great. I love big crates. I've got two incense altars from Blood Magic. Um, got lots of stuff, haven't we? So <laughs> a couple of ones. How many ones have we got? Quite a few. What's this one? Knowledge concentrator thermal series allows XP to be stored and retrieved. That's quite good. Got an obsidian boat. Uh, a signal of the blood lamp from Britannia uh, Black and Blood Magic, which is quite good. Four garden cloches from uh, Immersive Engineering. We've got a water wheel from Immersive Engineering. Bit impractical for the space as it happens. We've got not enough space at the moment. A copper vein miner. That's Tinker's construct. Interesting. What do we get here? A lapis lazuli pick from Mechanism. That's quite good. Uh, an Imperium. Pickaxe head, that's actually rather good. <laughs> Mining speed, attack damage at 11.2, that's pretty decent. Uh, Prudentium packs, well, we can smelt these if we need to and use them for something else. We've got two globe trotter slashes, which are from that one else we've got. We've got a, a windmill from Mechanism, that's actually a wind generator. We can use that, no problem. What else have we got in here? Stabilized RF coil. What I'm probably going to do with the mob masher is go and, I'm not sure. Maybe I won't use it. We've got an ultimate compressing vac factory from Mechanism. Oh, interesting. I just want to have to look at some of these. But in between episodes, I've got some what? Man of Steel helmets. That's plus two armor. How much is leggings? That's plus five armor. That's actually pretty decent, isn't it? What have we got at the moment? What have we got at the moment for on at the moment? We've got plus three from better diving. That's actually not. This is we've not got the strong stuff on. We've got the weak stuff on anyway. Well, that's it for this episode. I think it's a bit long. <laughs> anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.